Hello everyone, welcome to Easy Engineering Classes. In this lecture, we'll be studying previous year GATE 2017 questions of uh, two basic for, uh, topics of digital logic which are IEEE 754 format of representing floating point numbers and hexa hexadecimal and octal representation of numbers. This will be very useful in the preparation of GATE computer science UGC net computer science and bank IT professor papers. Alright, so let's get started with our first question. In the first question, it is given that the representation of the value of a 16-bit unsigned integer x in hexadecimal is BCA9 and we have to tell the representation of this value in octal number. So this is a very easy question. If you expand this hexadecimal notation in binary, you will find out that B can be written as 1011 c can be written as 1100 10 or a can be written as 1010 and 9 can be written as 1001 so together this can be represented as 1011 1100 1010 and 1001 now if we group it in the 3 3 the a group containing 3 digits or three binary digit the groups would come out to be like this and writing the numbers corresponding to these groups would give me the value of 136251 so the octal representation would be 136251 and this is octal so we write 8 so this is a very easy question the answer is d here in this we just converted hexadecimal to binary and then for converting from binary to octal we grouped the digits from right to left in terms in groups of three digits all right three binary digits now coming to the next question the question states that the given binary number is in 32 bit IEEE 754 format and this is the number the decimal value closest to this floating point number is and you are given the options now you have to remember that in IEEE 754 format the number is divided into three parts the first is sign bit next is exponent and the third is mantissa all right so the sign bit is one bit in in this case exponent is of eight bits and the remaining 23 bits are reserved for mantissa so in this case we start reading our number from left and the given number in this given number the sign bit would be the leftmost bit which is zero this all right then the next eight bits would represent the exponent and the exponent would be zero triple one double one double zero all right so the exponent value would be zero triple one double one double zero and the remaining 23 bits would be mantissa now you have to remember that in IEEE 754 format exponent is used to represent both positive and negative exponent values so this value is written or expressed in excess 127 code what do we mean by excess 127 that means the actual value will be obtained by subtracting 127 from this value given or you can also say this value is more or excess by 127 as compared to the original value so if we express this value this would come out to be around 124 and if you have to obtain the correct value correct actual exponent value you will subtract 127 from this and you will get minus 3 so this number represents an exponent of minus 3 now coming to the mantissa mantissa is generally represented as one point followed by certain fractional bits all right these are represented as fraction bits or I'm saying or referring to them as F in this case these bits are 
डबल वन जीरो डबल वन जीरो वन एंड फॉलोड बाय रिमेनिंग जीरो विच मेक इट अ टोटल ऑफ ट्वेंटी थ्री बिट्स और राइट बट इफ वी राइट इट डाउन इन इम्प्लिसिट नॉर्मलाइजेशन फॉर्म दैट मीन्स इफ वी ओनली कंसिडर द नॉन जीरो इनिशियल पार्ट देन द मैंटिस कैन बी एक्सप्रेस एज वन सॉरी वन पॉइंट वन वन जीरो डबल वन जीरो वन और एंड द फाइनल नंबर यूजिंग ऑल दीज थ्री कॉम्पोनेंट्स कैन बी एक्सप्रेस एज वन पॉइंट वन वन जीरो डबल वन जीरो वन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टू टू द पावर ऑफ एक्सपोनेंट दैट वी कैलकुलेटेड विच इज माइनस थ्री सो दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो एंड दिस नंबर सो दिस वुड कम आउट टू बी ट्रिपल वन जीरो वन वन एंड जीरो वन सो द फाइनल आंसर दैट मीन्स द डेसिमल वैल्यू क्लोजेस्ट टू दिस रिप्रेजेंटेशन इज जीरो पॉइंट टू टू सेवन विच इज इक्वल टू टू पॉइंट टू सेवन इंटू टेन रेस टू पार माइनस वन इफ यू कन्वर्ट इट यू विल गेट दिस वैल्यू एंड दिस ऑप्शन इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय ऑप्शन सी सो दीज वर टू क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन digital logic concepts they are very easy to grab so you can quickly solve them and grab the marks in respective papers thank you for watching the video if you understood the both the questions please like this video and share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel of easy engineering classes to stay updated with the new videos on other computer science related subjects as well as our preparation series for gate ugc net and bank it officer exams thank you